Took you long enough. I know, I know. Oh dear. How are you doing today, Sam? I'm ready to get the show on the road. Oh, you are ready. We're in the kitchen and we're ready to do some baking. Are you ready, Sam? I'm ready. It's Mother's Day, and one of my favorite memories with my mom is Stop cooking. Stop starting. What do you mean? Well, we start off. Hi, boys and girls. Okay, well. Let's Scratch start. this, Mike. Cut this out, Mike. <laughs> Sorry, I stand corrected. Hi, boys and girls. Hi, guys. Hi, moms. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. We are here in the kitchen and we're ready to do some baking. And one of my favorite memories is cooking with my mom in the kitchen, even from when I was really little. We would cook and bake together, and even a lot of my memories are about mealtimes and time spent in the kitchen. So we thought, what better way for Mother's Day than to bake up a special dish? Yep, let's bake it up, girl. All right, well, I was looking for a special recipe and I actually came across a recipe for a good mother. Can you believe that, Sam? That's cool. All right, well, the first thing for our but recipe. Moms aren't gonna fit in the oven. No, moms aren't gonna fit in the oven, but this is gonna help us remember all of the wonderful things that make up a good mom. All right, let's start from the top, Holly. All right, so the first thing we have on our recipe here, Sam, is a pound of unconditional love. Ooh, that's a lot of love, Holly. That is a lot of love, and our moms show us a lot of love every day in the way that they care for us. And so that's why we put in a lot of love in our recipe. All right, well, the next thing on our recipe is a bunch of affection. Our moms give us hugs and kisses. They care for us. So, Sam, do you want to put in a bunch of affection? Yeah, sure what, Ollie. All right, go for it there, Sam. Oh, come on, a little bit more affection than that. Good job. Okay. Boys and girls, I don't recommend this cooking technique at home. Sure do taste good. They do taste good though, don't they? Sure Just they like do. mom's affection is good. Yep. Well then, we put lots of trust into our moms, don't we? Yeah, trust and obey, because there's no other way. I feel a song coming on. Excuse me. <clears throat> trust and obey, for there's no other way. To be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. <laughs> Come on back, Holly. If you're sure, Sam. Yep, yeah, ready. Okay, well, thank you. You're welcome. And yes, we need to trust, our moms trust Jesus. And we need to trust and obey our mothers, too, don't we? Sure do. All right. Oh, well, we need to put that into our recipe. We need three tablespoons of some trust. All right. Great. Can you do that there, Sam? Good job. One more. Okay, all right. All right, you're doing a good job. You're Here we good. go. You're a good assistant there, Sam. Thank you. All right, well, the next thing on our recipe is a handful of memories. We Ooh, make... that looks like a farm fresh butt nugget to me, y'all. Sam, we don't use that kind of language. It's farm talk. This is called an egg. Did you get it from Raymond Farms and Chicken Coop? Maybe. It might be Farm Fresh from Raymond Farms. The Raymond Chickens. Looks good to me, Ollie. All right, so do you want to put that, our memories, all our good memories that we have with our moms? Sam, you don't just throw the egg in. Mix it up. No, you have to scramble up the egg first, Sam. I thought it might be crunchy. It tends to be frowned upon when you get shells in your recipes. Oh. Okay? 
We always learn something, though, don't we, Sam? We sure do. Boys and girls, don't put eggs in your mom's recipe. Exactly. All right. Well, next we have two drops of examples to follow. Our moms give us a good example to follow, don't they? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that smells good, Ollie. It does. We're going to count two. Can you count two? Yep. One. One. <clears throat> And two. Oh, that was a big one, too. All right, our moms are good examples for us. They show us how to live. They teach us lots of things. And they are an example of what it means to live for Jesus, too, aren't they? Sure are. All right, well, this next one I think our moms need a lot of. I know my mom needed a lot of this with me when I was a kid. Especially when I would mess up her kitchen when we were cooking together, had a few accidents. We need some, our moms need a lot of patience. Yeah, they sure do. Probably right about now. I'm sure they need an extra dose of patience right now. Have an extra dose. So we've dosing. got two cups of patience going in there with a little bit extra. Yep, that's a lot, Ollie. They need a lot right now. Boys and girls might be fighting and having a hard time getting along at home right now, but not our boys and girls. We already nope. talked about that right there, angels. They are angelic. All right. Then we need a pinch. Just a pinch. Just a pinch of laughter and tears. Want to put a pinch in there, Sam? Yep. Good job. Yeah. Good job. That tastes salty. It might taste a little salty. I want it off my tongue. Kind of like our tears. Oh, here, let me help you with that, Sam. There you go. Yeah. Our moms laugh with us. And sometimes when we're sad, even our moms cry with us, too, because they're sad when we're sad. All right. Well, we are ready to take all of that and mix it up together. Do you want to help me with that, Sam? Yep, I do. All right, do you want a spatula or a whisk? I want the spatula, Holly. Sam, it's called a spatula. And it's called a spatula. We argue about this every time. You sound like somebody else I know. So spatula. 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 Sam? That's how it's spelled. You're putting the emphasis in the wrong spot. Spatula. Keep it up, and I'm going to put you in the sock drawer. Not like last time. Well, if you didn't learn your lesson. Holly, let's not ruin this nice recipe. Okay, I have an idea. Why don't we just compromise and use the whisk? All right, let's whisk it All up. All right, are you ready? I feel like this is going to be some whiskey business. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke, wasn't it, Sam? All right, you got it all mixed up there? Almost. Good job. <clears throat> Mix it all up with some prayer. I know my mom prayed for me a lot when I was a girl. And I'm sure a lot of our moms pray for their boys and girls every day. Ooh. All right, good job there, Sam. Good yeah, job. Yeah, dizzy. <laughs> One of the hazards. Oh, dear. And then we take that, we put it on our pan, put it in the oven, Bake it all up, and then, the magic of television, we come out with this. Whoa! Ta -da! Check those out, Holly. Yes, we have one sweet recipe here. Whoa! Like, our moms are so mm. sweet. Mm. This is so good, boys and girls. Mm. They are really good. Just like our moms are so good to us, mm. they're so sweet. Mmm. Shouldn't Whoa. talk with my mouth full. Excuse me, boys and girls. There's one left. We'll save that one for later. Maybe we can share it, okay? Okay. All right. Well, it's been fun cooking with you, Sam, and with the boys and girls at home. And again, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Boys and girls, your moms are great. Honor them every day, but be extra special to them and extra kind to them today. Give them a big hug and tell them how much you love them. And thank God for giving you a wonderful mom. And we'll talk to you guys again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye, guys. Happy See Mother's you. Day. For me, it didn't take that long. I would have sang another song for him. Did you want to sing a song just for Mike? For Mike? What kind of music does he like? Mike's pretty eclectic. He likes a lot of different kinds of music. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> I love rock and roll. Da, 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 to the jukebox, baby. I love <laughs> rock and roll.
rock and roll. That's for you, Mike. Thanks. Bye.